Two suspects are behind bars after police say they brutally attacked a man inside his own home. A third man remains on the run, and tonight the U.S. Marshals are on the case. Book more live with a look at the man they want to find and the search video you're seeing only on two. Mark, we first told you about this home invasion earlier this month. Officials were hoping security footage would help lead them to the suspects. Well, it did, and they made one of those arrests just earlier today. But now U.S. Marshals are on the trail of the third and final suspect. This home surveillance video shows the suspects attacking 39-year-old Matthew Culp inside his house on East Home Road. They hit me in the back of the head with a pair of binoculars at least six times. He didn't want to show his face on camera. Culp did, however, share the vivid memories he has of October 2nd when three men showed up at his front door. They hit him and tied him up with cable wire. First, I wasn't sure I got hit with, you know, but I was pretty sure it was a gun. And then when they had the gun to the back of my head, I just kept thinking to myself, I need to stay calm. I want to keep them calm and just got to do, got to, do to stay, keep myself alive. Because of Culp's security cameras, Springfield police received tips helping them find out who these men are. Today, we've learned 44 year old Tony Hosier is behind bars, facing aggravated burglary charges. A 17 year old was also arrested. With a third man on the run, U.S. Marshals have joined the search. Him and another guy, they went out and uh, did a home invasion. We were the only crew there today when officials stopped by the suspect's home, eventually making their way through the front door. He wasn't there, but patrolman Rick Fleming says it's crucial they find him. They did have handguns on when they uh, broke into the house, so we, we definitely need to get him off the street. We did get a look at the suspect's photo. They're confident he'll be in custody soon. Until then, Culp says he won't be relying solely on his security system. I definitely won't answer the door. It's dark, <laughs> you know, anytime soon. That's for sure. If you recognize the man that we just showed you in that photo or you know where he is, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 222 7867. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore. Two news working for you.